Hart in Adelaide, in South Australia. This is my new house behind me, and uh, we are basically going to do disc versus non-disc. We have a disc, non-disc bike here. This is disc. I think this is disc. I can't tell. Too much sprite powder. I can't even tell which bike I'm riding right now. Advantages of disc is you're going to have better stopping power in the wet. If you're in the wet weather conditions, if you're a bike courier, cyclocross racer, disc brakes going to be great. If you're a mountain biker, for the road though, in my opinion, for dry conditions, it's overkill. It's not bad, it's just overkill. You're going to add extra weight. You're always going to have extra weight. So it's going to, you're going to feel an extra half kilo or so on the climbs. It doesn't mean you can't go fast, you feel it a little bit. But for the downhills descending, they can offer more confidence for a lot of people. Uh, for me, it doesn't really do much, but in the wet, for sure. If I lived in Seattle, San Francisco, disc brake bike. If I was a bike courier again, disc brake bike for sure. So that's a disc brake, it's a giant Defy. Uh, and then we have this weapon here. This is another Defy, which is actually the lightest frame they've ever made. A uh, lot of bike they've ever made is the Defy uh, Advanced SL. Fantastic. That frame's actually lighter, but you add disc brakes to it, it's heavier. So the, this is a fantastic climbing bike. I do prefer non disc, it just feels a bit more zippier. But again, this bike, the disc one's still very, very fast. It's not going to be a, a life or death performance difference. You're not going to get dropped on a disc brake bike. But if you go for every single second of the Tour de France, you'll never see Chris Froome, those guys, running disc brake bikes and up, up the mountains. You'll never see that. You won't see that unless the sponsors really push it hard. But you can't really beat that performance of the calipers when every second counts, that half a kilo can be a big difference in the Tour de France. So there you go, it comes down to what sort of riding you want to do. I prefer non-disc, but then I've got disc brake bikes as well. So be it, depends on weather. When it's wet weather, disc brakes for sure. When it's dry weather, boom. So N plus one, N equals one, get as many bikes as you can, fit in your bathtub and your bedroom and go from that. Let's go riding. There you go, disc brake versus non-disc brake. It depends on what sort of riding you want to do. I'd recommend ride both bikes, even own both bikes and see what you personally prefer. If you're using carbon, be careful with your steerers. Please be careful. Please be careful with your steerers. And uh, there you go. So you got any questions about disc brake, non-disc, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, it just depends what sort of riding you're doing. Depends what sort of riding you're doing. Personally, I prefer disc in the wet and I do prefer non-disc in the dry. Just for that extra friskiness, extra response. And also cheaper bike, lighter bike. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just different and don't let anyone else decide for you, decide for yourself. Test ride, then decide. See you in the road, go vegan.